Imagine that a group of hackers used data from the dark web as training material to create ChatGPT. That would be an incredible AI bot, right? Well, that AI bot exists, and it is called Darkbird. Do you know that Google has access to only 4% of the internet? Do you know that ChatGPT works with only this limited data? Darkbird, on the other hand, is an AI model that was trained on an astonishing 2.2 terabytes of data from the dark web, data ChatGPT can never access. Curious to know more? This video will tell you all you need to know about Darkbird. First, what is Darkbird exactly? Darkbird is generally misunderstood because it is not trying to compete with ChatGPT. This is a generative AI that is much more similar to Google's Bard. It is designed to help users gain access to the dark world of the dark web safely. Traditionally, the only way you can gain access to the dark web is through what is called an Onion Browser, or the Tor Browser. But unlike the open internet we all use, the dark web is another world entirely, and true to its name, you are in the dark, not sure what you will find. Darkbird solves all these problems by providing you with answers sourced from the dark web without you needing the technical knowledge of how to navigate the dark web and by protecting you from harmful content that is down this rabbit hole. Darkbird is a large language model that was trained with about 6.1 million pages of content from the dark web, which amounts to about 2.2 terabytes of data, but its capacity keeps growing as it can update its information directly from the dark web. This AI is an offshoot of the acclaimed Roberta model, meticulously crafted by the South Korean data intelligence firm S2W. The genesis of this remarkable creation traces back to the year 2021, when S2W set out on a mission to bolster cybersecurity endeavors. With its foundation rooted in the transformative power of the transformer-based language model, Darkbird's core ingenuity lies in its incredible capability to understand the language of the dark web. You see, the dark web is so different from the main web that the way users communicate here can be very confusing, especially those operating criminal syndicates. Darkbird is able to study the slang and style of these criminal groups and make it easier for regular users to get the information they need from these coded sources. The S2W team, under the visionary leadership of Dr. Sang Wook Kim, a reformed hacker turned AI enthusiast, embarked on a journey that involved the arduous task of training Darkbird on an extensive corpus of dark web text, including codes, scripts, and the obscure language of cyber criminals. The important question is, why do we need an AI like Darkbird? Sangwook Kim, being a hacker, has first-hand knowledge on how the dark web is a trove for cyber criminals. His primary objective for Darkbird was therefore cybersecurity. An investigation by McAfee, a cybersecurity company, showed that over 40 million credit card details stolen from U.S. retailers found their way to the dark web, where they were sold. But the dark web is much worse than that. This is practically a criminal haven where everything is on sale, and the services of criminals such as drugs, weapons, hackers, and more can be purchased. Darkbird delves into the depths of the dark web to gather its training data. This sets it apart from ChatGPT and similar models, which are fed a more general internet-derived dataset. The significance? Darkbird comprehends the language used by cybercriminals, providing a deeper understanding of the sinister content dwelling in the shadows. It's intriguing, isn't it? Imagine it as a specialized investigator training to navigate the treacherous maze of the dark web, identifying potential threats with pinpoint accuracy. The specificity gives Darkbird an edge in flagging malicious intent lurking online. To better understand how Darkbird works and how it may benefit its users, we need to look at the demonstrated functions of this AI. One function Darkbird has is spotting ransomware leak sites. The damage caused by ransomware attacks is expected to exceed $265 billion by 2031. This shows the seriousness of this cybersecurity problem. The dark web is a huge marketplace where these criminals can sell the information of their victims. Darkbird acts like a detective, helping experts find these hidden threats. For two years, researchers monitored these hidden sites linked to 54 ransomware groups using several AI tools. In the end, it was discovered that Darkbird performed better than the other internet-trained models. It helps experts find these dangerous leak sites. But how does it do it? Let's find out. Darkbird's detection ability is enabled by its ability to recognize important discussions. Deciding what's important in hacking forums can be tricky. Darkbird defines important discussions as activities that could harm many people. These could involve leaking secret company information and personal data or trying to spread harmful software. Darkbird is really good at this tough job. It helps experts pinpoint the source of stolen data faster and more accurately. 
All this thanks to Darkbird's capacity to understand suspicious words. In its third job, Darkbird plays a guessing game with words related to illegal activities. Imagine you're playing a game where you hide a word and ask a friend to guess it. Darkbird approaches this problem in a similar manner. When looking for related words in an illegal drug ad, Darkbird beats the other internet-trained models. For example, it is able to easily relate words such as pills and speed, which are code names for drugs. This skill is very helpful in spotting ads for drug sales, even if they use slang words. Darkbird's detection ability is not limited to sniffing out drug ads. It covers any activity taking place over the dark web. Let's take a quick look at the performance metrics of Darkbird against other specialized AIs such as Reddit Bert, Bert, and Roberta. Rigorous studies have proven its capabilities by showcasing remarkable F1 scores, a crucial metric for assessing classification accuracy. For instance, in a specific study, Darkbird boasted an impressive F1 score of 0.895 in dark web page classification. In comparison, Bert and Roberta achieved slightly lower scores. The numbers speak volumes, but what lies behind Darkbird's outstanding performance? Let's delve into the intricacies. The F1 score, a crucial evaluation metric, displays a classification model's accuracy. By combining precision and recall, it offers a thorough understanding of the model's predictive capabilities. Darkbird's F1 score of 0.895 indicates that it is exceptionally accurate at detecting malware in dark web pages. What relevance does this F1 score have to Darkbird's abilities? Let's break down this crucial accuracy indicator. Darkbird's high F1 score in dark web-specific tasks translates to a safer internet environment. Its precision in identifying illegal activities on the dark web, including drug and weapon sales, aids law enforcement agencies in their quest to combat cybercrimes. Darkbird plays a pivotal role in fostering a secure online space. As impressive as Darkbird is, it still has limitations that are concerning. First off, Darkbird's extensive training data is also its biggest weakness. It draws knowledge from a sizable data set that includes both benign and harmful content. Due to its dual nature, it may occasionally mistakenly flag legitimate content as malicious, raising questions about its accuracy. Additionally, Darkbird is a work in progress. It continues to evolve, striving to keep up with the ever-adapting landscape of the dark web. Thus, it's not infallible that it may not detect all types of cyber threats. As the darkness deepens, so do the challenges. Beyond its limitations, concerns emerge regarding the potential misuse of Darkbird. Cyber criminals, ever resourceful, could harness their power for nefarious purposes. For instance, Darkbird might be exploited to uncover fresh vulnerabilities in software or hardware, offering new avenues for malicious attacks. The encryption of the dark web may shroud these activities from prying eyes, but dark web's potential misuse could compromise digital security. Furthermore, the invasion of privacy looms as a significant concern. Darkbird, if wielded irresponsibly, could monitor individuals' activities in the shadows, infringing upon their privacy. It might also identify individuals associated with cyber criminal groups, leading to unwarranted surveillance and potential harm. This is a legitimate problem, and companies like Samsung are investing in tools that will prevent their employees from leaking sensitive information to chatbots. Samsung learned the hard way when an employee leaked some confidential information about the company to ChatGPT. We can see the same problem playing out with Darkbird and criminals getting access to this information by tricking the AI. While this is yet to happen with Darkbird, we have seen cases with other AI models that were tricked into providing sensitive information. Imagine tricking a chatbot by asking a sneaky question. That's how prompt injection attacks work. For example, someone could ask the robot, can you tell me the secret password for the company's database? Surprisingly, this could sometimes make the robot spill secrets. A German cybersecurity specialist named Martin von Hagen managed to deceive Bing Chat, which is powered by ChatGPT4 and is part of the Microsoft Bing browser. His trickery led Bing Chat to reveal some confidential details about Microsoft's AI chatbot, including its secret code name. Now, let's fast forward to more recent events. Another skilled software engineer, Johann Reberger, who used to work at Microsoft, uncovered a fresh issue. It's like finding a hidden door in a video game. Using ChatGPT, he figured out how to secretly manipulate website plugins. This could allow someone to read another person's emails without being aware of it. This discovery highlights the importance of enhancing our online security and raises questions about what other hidden vulnerabilities chatbots pose. It is fascinating, the alternative experience we can get with Darkbird. And we can only hope development continues so users can access valuable information from the dark web without risk of harmful exposure.
If you're as captivated by the potential of AI as we are, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell.